Hello, this is Jeff. I'm going to show you how to use Video Brush. Let's start by going quickly over all the buttons here. In the top left you have the microphone button, which is currently X'd out. If you uncheck that while you're recording, then you can overlay your voice on top of your video. Uh, typically you would see that in a director's cut style, but for the purposes of this demonstration I'm going to leave that muted. The next to that is the record button there up in the top left. Um, you can manually start recording regardless of whether your video is playing or paused. So typically you don't really use the record button a whole lot because in the bottom left you have the play button. When you tap the play button it will automatically play your video and start recording. So let's demonstrate that now. I'm going to go ahead and play this. You'll notice that it's playing and recording because the record button in the top left is flashing and in the top center you can see the total amount of time recorded. If I pause, the video stops playing and the record button gets this little square around it to tell you, hey, recording is still happening but it's paused. So what you could do here if you wanted to say narrate a still frame and a draw on it and explain something. You could unmute the microphone. You could then tap the record button. So now we're recording a still frame and then you could draw. You could narrate like I'm doing now. And then you could go ahead and start playing again and your video would resume from that spot. So I'll do that now. And then even when your video gets all the way to the end, it's still recording. So you'll want to tap pause, which gets the recording paused again. And when you're done recording, you would simply tap the record button once to unpause. And then tap it again to finish. And then you can save your video. Okay, so that's kind of a basic use case of Video Brush. I'm going to now demonstrate how to capture something frame by frame. So let's go back to the beginning of this video. So I've got this geyser here and I want to kind of add a fountainy effect to it over the top just for fun. I've got my spray can selected and I'm going to show you how to step single frames. So typically you can zoom in. You can start a little bit of an effect here and then you can step forward one frame by using this red button in the bottom left that's the step and record one frame button so if I tap that it'll record the current frame and advance one frame you can see in the top left my record button is now active but it's got the square around it to let you know that recording is paused you would probably want to undo your previous um, drawing, uh, the easiest way to do that is either to use the undo button there or you can tap and hold the draw tool and you can say clear. That'll clear out the foreground. Now your video is on the background so if you ever want to blur or smudge your video you would need to tap the and hold the draw tool and then copy video frame so now you've got a video frame on the foreground and on the background. So let's quickly show you that this can be blurred. So now I'm blurring parts of my video, which is great for frame by frame blurring if you want to use that. I don't want to use that for this demo. I'm going to go back to the spray can. Tap done. Now when you're done with your video frame on the foreground, it's important to clear that out because otherwise the video on the background won't be visible through the foreground which will have the static image of the video frame that you copied. Anyway, let's do some more fountainy effects here, maybe a little bigger. I'll advance another frame. Clear that out, make it a little bit taller. Advance again. Clear that out, make it a little bit taller. And you can kind of get the idea Basically, by single stepping uh, in a matter of minutes, you can have a nice special effect in your video. Video Brush is really great for editing small parts of your video to add special effects. So the last thing I'm going to show you, well, second to last thing, is how to add text. So if you tap the text tool and you type in some text, 
There's some nice gibberish for you. You can go ahead and place that. Tap done. So now, as I'm single stepping frames, that text is static, so it's kind of overlaid on there. So if you need to add some static text to your image, that's a great way to do it. Now keep in mind, if you use this tap and hold on the draw tool, and you either tap clear or copy video frame, your text is going to get erased. So just be mindful of that, that when you're single stepping frames, the text tool doesn't really work so well because you need to sometimes clear the foreground, like if you want to blur, see there it's gone, but that's just part of the app. You've got a foreground and a background and anytime you need to edit the foreground with the video frame, it's going to replace everything. So just be aware of that. But typically when you're not needing to actually change the video frame itself, the text tool works great. Okay, so the last thing to show you is in this menu option in the top right, there's this option here at the bottom, automatically copy video frames to the foreground when single stepping. I'm going to select that and show you how to do a blur frame by frame. Let's go to the blur tool, make him a little smaller, and tap done. Now, I need to first of all get the video frame on the foreground. So I've done that. <clears throat> now I'm going to blur part of this geyser. And when I single step, it's going to copy the video frame to the foreground automatically for me, which saves me the trouble of tapping and holding on the draw tool. So I'm going to advance one frame. You've noticed that it's cleared out the previous frame and copied the new video frame. I'll blur that again and rapidly you can blur part of your image say if you had a logo or some other copyrighted thing you wanted to edit out of a small chunk of a video this is a great way to do that when you're done make sure to tap and hold that draw tool and clear and get back there and turn that option off because that can be really confusing if you don't need it as you're single stepping video frames and you wonder why your text is disappearing and all your hard work of a drawing disappears it's because you may have left that option on so only use that option if you need to blur or smudge or recolor frame by frame and be sure to turn it off when you're done okay that's a quick overview of video brush make sure to share all your videos on instagram facebook and twitter and remember as you're creating new videos, there's an option to make them square so that they fit nicely into Instagram and other social networks that use a square format. That's all for now. Thanks for your time. Have a wonderful day.